The following movie will give you an overview of how to use the measuring wheel. The measuring wheel is a tool which measures the diameters of slow rotating cylinders during operation. For example, it can be used with support rollers or tires on rotary kilns or dryers. To use a tool, strictly follow the safety rules given by the respective plant and local authorities. The measuring wheel comes as a toolkit in a strong and tight transport case. It mainly includes the following items. The measuring wheel itself with spring-loaded suspension, the light barrier sensor and switch flag to indicate the rotation of the item being measured, the controller which calculates and displays the diameter, the magnetic support with extension rods and connectors, a battery charger with different country adapters, and in the lid, the manual. As a first step, the measuring wheel has to be prepared for installation using the magnetic stand and some extension rods. Place the stand of the wheel onto a magnetic surface near the kiln tire or as shown here near the support roller. Ensure sufficient cleanliness of the contact surfaces to have a good stability. Connect the wheel with the controller. Now the light barrier sensor has to be installed to detect the magnetic switch flag which is attached to the side face of the roller. Connect the light sensor to the controller. Attach the wheel onto the roller surface and apply some pressure to avoid any slippage. Fine tune the straightness by using the tilt screw. As soon as the wheel is turning, it is recognized by the wheel controller. The controller is waiting to receive the impulse from the light barrier when the switch flag passes through. After one revolution, the first diameter value is displayed. With each revolution, a new one appears at the lowest row in the display. The previous readings are moved one row up. Depending on the purpose, the wheel can be placed on the different positions along the width. It is recommended to record the position of the wheel along the width of the respective kiln tire or support roller. By measuring the diameter at various positions along the width, the cylindricity can be calculated, which helps to define the corrective actions in case of significant deviations. Now the measurement of the kiln roller diameter is finalized. The following sequence shows how to measure the diameter of a kiln tire. By adding the extension rods, the range can be increased. Make sure the measuring wheel is adjusted to be straight on the tire surface. Please note that also, the light barrier sensor and the switch flag have to be attached to the tire while measuring it. For short distances, the measuring wheel can be mounted directly onto the base plate, as in this example, to measure from the structure near the tire. For safety, only place the wheel on the outrunning side and never on the inrunning side to avoid any item becoming caught between tire and roller. On some kilns, it is easier to reach the tires from below. Please note the orientation of the wheel suspension in relation to the rotation of the part being measured.
There are also other ways to connect the extension rods to the base plate, as shown in this example where measuring the roller diameter. Now all on-site activity is complete and the data analysis can be done back in the office. More information about using the tool can be found in the manual or on the website of tomtomtools.com.